As we continue hitting the show floor at CES Unveiled, the official press event before press day this year here at CES, running across more fun products and cool things to tell you about. In this case, we're talking about controlling room environments. You might think, oh, I've got a smart thermostat. Well, perhaps it's not so smart because how is it controlling individual rooms that are causing you some issues? Our next guest can solve that problem. He's the co-founder and CEO of, is it a, a convent systems? Is Ecovent. I, Ecovent. Ecovent, oh, no wonder. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think like uh, a nun would be living in a convent. Or <laughs> but Ecovent makes a whole lot more sense. And you are Dip Patel. Dip, welcome into tomorrow. Thank you so much, man. Thanks Glad for to have you with us. So you, what, you're addressing an issue that, it, to my knowledge, no one else is paying any attention to, and that is it's great to have a smart thermostat thermostat. I've got uh, the Honeywell uh, talking thermostat in my house. Chris has, of course, the Nest. You know, people hear about these kind of things. We talk about these kind of things. And that's great, but it's only trying to deal with the whole house. So unless you're opening and closing vents all the time and whatnot, how do we deal with, I need this room colder and that room warmer and all of that with one thermostat, right. you're helping to solve that problem. Right, I would say some people have solved this with uh, traditional zoning methods, but a lot of those are very expensive to install and invasive. They involve wiring stuff up and putting baffles in the ducting and things like that. A whole lot of money too. A whole lot of money, that's right. And um, the problem is, for the longest time, it was very hard to develop a system that could truly understand what's going on in a home, but then also impact it. And the reason why is the technology just wasn't ready. However, as a result of the cell phone, a lot of sensor technology, battery technology, wireless communication technology has become accessible, cheap, and efficient, allowing us to very quickly develop amazing stuff like this. So you're making our smart homes even smarter in the sense of air conditioning and heating now. That's right. Um, for the first time ever, you know, you've got a group of guys that have a systems level approach um, to understanding the house to fix this problem. And I think that's where the difference comes in. We've developed an awesome vent and a sensor out of necessity because this is what you need to, to impact homeowners. But the, the, the key is to understand the house. And that's where uh, a lot of the, the magic happens in our company. You know, we take a lot of the data from these devices and truly understand the thermodynamics in a house. And that's important because if I heat your kitchen, you know, the impact your house has is different than if you heat my kitchen. And we can't have homeowners having to configure things and program things. The system should be smart enough to figure it out. Yeah, that's true. Most of us typical homeowners aren't engineers. That's right. And frankly, a lot of engineers, uh, you know, don't, don't get a homeowner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so, you know, the trick is to make something that truly is plug and play, but uh, has the has enough control and understanding and sophistication to solve this problem versus band aid create. Band-Aid solutions like window air conditioners, space heaters, better ceiling fans. No, the right answer is to use the system you have efficiently. And uh, finally, we've been able to do that, you know, and um, the oh, beauty so is... Now we've got to get to telling us how. Sure. <laughs> you're, you're holding an eco vent, which, which Chris is shooting video of as you hold it still and tell me what it does and how does one use it. Sure. Um, the eco vent is very simple. You know, a lot of homeowners have air vents right now. Some have even gone and opened and closed them, which is dangerous. And uh, what we do is we've made vents that have multiple sizes and um, basically just plug into the same hole. So you pull your existing vent out and you put ours in. It's got a fully secure, fully encrypted um, sub gigahertz communication and it uses batteries so there's no wires anywhere. So you plug it in, turn it on, and that's it. The system learns about it. Then you plug our sensors into the wall. And, and this would be the sensor you're holding in, your, in this hand. Okay. And the sensor has been designed from the ground up to give us a true understanding of the parameters of a home that are truly important for homeowner comfort. And the reason so now we're plugging this in a regular AC outlet that we have in whatever room we're, we're wanting right. to control. That's right. And the beauty is it doesn't matter where you plug it in. You can plug it in anywhere, behind a couch, something like that. And our system will, will bias everything. It'll optimize. And so the sensor itself plugs into any outlet. Luckily, it's got pass-throughs, so you can, uh, you can continue to use those outlets. And it also adds USB ad adapters so that you, homeowners can charge their phones or... Uh, or tablets directly from the device so itself. you thought of that too, knowing that we've all got devices and they always need to be charged, so let's help the homeowner at the same time. What's another very efficient sensor that's also, right, that also provides value that, you know, that's above and beyond? And the thing is, everybody needs another charger, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, so, Dip, how does it work then? So uh, what, it work? We've, got, we've got an EcoVent and a sensor, and that's really cool, but now what? Now what? Very simple. The homeowner would basically identify how many vents they have in their home, 
and how many rooms they have in their house. They walk around their house and they plug one sensor into each room that they want to be a zone, and then they replace all of their air vents with ours. And then our control hub... This is something a DIY, do-it-yourself homeowner can do, replacing the vent. That's right. In fact, a lot of our existing beta customers have done a self-install. And the system has learned the house automatically. And so the idea is you plug these things in. The, the, the hardest part is naming the rooms. And that's just because you have to type in names if you want. Although we do have pre-populated lists. Yeah. But I like to call my room, you know, like Dip's Palace. So yeah, that's course. not a pre-populated. And then of course, there's Dip's Man Cave, right. you know, all of these things. Yeah, man caves are fun. And so basically, the idea is you could personalize it that way. But the system really learns all the complex stuff. It learns what, how the outdoor weather affects. It learns what the sun position's doing. It learns that if I heat the living room, what happens to the kitchen? It learns that, you know, if uh, I have a drafty living, uh, drafty bedroom, our system learns all of these things and adapts for it automatically. So is the sensor communicating with the vent and vice versa? They actually all communicate with a control hub. And um, I had mentioned that we have a fully encrypted uh, sub gigahertz network. So we take security yeah, very... That kind of went right over my head <laughs> with uh, so, not being an engineer, but all right. Okay, so uh, so, so tell me, what the heck does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, so the thing with, uh, with wireless communications is the higher the frequency, the more bandwidth you get. So the more stuff you can communicate. So if you want to move music around or video, you need a very high frequency. When you go lower frequency, you get much more range. So inside of a house, for any given radio, you can get a lot more range. But you give it up for bandwidth. But we don't need a lot of bandwidth because we only got a certain amount of sensors, right? And full encryption means you can snoop any data, but you won't be able to know what it is. And so we take security very, very seriously. We've worked on submarines and missile defense systems in the past. So we know what we're doing. And so the idea is this control hub is a computer that does all of the math. And the reason why is we wanted the system to operate if the internet goes down. And so our, the, the processing actually happens in the home. And that's home. a good point, because I don't want my air conditioning to turn off <laughs> if I can no longer surf the web. It right. just doesn't make sense. <laughs> right, right. And so the system still operates with the, with the internet down. And um, you know the beauty is this control hub is what does all of the communicating. So the vents and the sensors talk to that hub. However, the vent can talk through the sensor as well if it wants to save battery life. So these are some of the fun things we're doing. It talks quietly like it at does. night. It does, okay. yeah. It's kind of like the voices in my head, you can't hear them, but they're there for me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so the vents have a voice that we can't hear. <laughs> okay, very good. That's that part of that sub gigahertz stuff. There you right? go, yeah. Okay, Lower gotcha. than one gigahertz frequency is what that means. And so if you think about it, the old cordless phones we used to have back in the 90s, those were 900 megahertz. And so we're using a similar frequency here. Some older technology that can play an important role in newer tech. That's right. It's uh, but it's older but digital, and uh, because of the new stuff, we've made it much more efficient. Right. Very cool. Is it available currently, and how is it priced? Because I'm, I'm hearing all of my audience in my head saying, "Great, but now what?" Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have deployed 20 systems around the country, and that's, that's what we're testing with right now. We're on the doorstep of production. Uh, we intend on going to production in the next few months and shipping systems in August. What we're doing right now is allowing homeowners that are really interested to come on our website. They can reserve a system now. They don't have to put any money down. They get a discount. It's 35% off right now. It will be 30% off tomorrow, but I can give you guys a, a code to actually get you a better discount if you like. And um, basically the idea is you get the discounted rate, and then these are the people that will eventually poll to find out what sizes we want to make for the initial production run. Gotcha. Well, I wish we had more time, but we're going to have to get you back on when they are out and available you to talk it. more about them. Meantime, folks can visit ecoventsystems.com. Don't try to go to a convent or anything. Nope. It's ecoventsystems.com. Okay. We'll link you there, of course, when, when, when folks visit us at intotomorrow.com. Dip, thanks for joining us no here on, at CES. Thank you so much for having me. You guys are great. Our pleasure. Into Tomorrow continues from Lost Wages, Nevada. I'm Dave Graveline. This is the Advanced Media Network.